In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to make use of the latest Citrix SD-WAN solution in Demo Center. When you log into Demo Center, you can provision a new SD-WAN environment to make sure you're selecting MR5. Now, as you select that environment, what you get is access to the public IP, to the individual web interfaces of the VMs that comprise that environment. You also will have access to a unified gateway where we can log in and use the demo account credentials to essentially pu access published desktops and applications. In this particular demonstration, what we want to do is utilize that unified gateway to access a published desktop in our data center. Now, from a demo center perspective, what you have access to is a virtual branch office and a virtual data center that has been pre-configured and pre-installed for you in the demo center environment. All of this resides on the same hypervisor. Now, as a user, what we're going to do is log in through Unified Gateway to a published desktop, and within that desktop, we're going to launch an iFERC session that will be forced to go across our SD-WAN solution to access the virtual branch network. Now, that particular session, that iFERC session, will be subject to any WAN link condition changes that we make. And that WAN link comprises of a 0 0.5 megabit per second MPLS, a 2 megabit per second internet, and a 1 megabit per second LTE. And that LTE link is configured specifically to be in a standby state to be used as a last resort link in the event of failure of both MPLS and internet. So we'll, in this demonstration, we'll showcase, one, the link aggregation capability of SD-WAN, taking that MPLS and internet link and and providing a aggregated bandwidth virtualized wide area network between the SD-WAN solution for our session that's going across the solution. And two, we'll show sub-second resiliency in the network as any one of those links go down, SD-WAN will reroute traffic on this virtual virtualized overlay network as detected. And then the third demonstration within this video will showcase our standby link functionality, the behavior of it, and the usage of that link in the scenario of only MPLS and internet being in a down state. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with uh, the demonstration itself. In your demo environment, you have access again to the unified gateway, which is an entry point into the network. And we will make use of user one account to log in. So as you log into there, if you have Citrix Receiver already installed, it will it will automatically detect um, the functionality. If it's not, go ahead and install the latest Citrix Receiver on your endpoint here. And when you come to the landing page of the Unified Gateway, you want to access the virtual apps and desktops. So go ahead and click into that. And within here, you want to access the published desktops that are available. And in that topology, we're going to launch the data center desktop, the Windows 10 VM. When the desktop has fully uh, launched, again, you have access to a JPerf um, as, a, as a test application. So we'll go ahead and launch JPerf, which is a graphical representat representation of our iPerf traffic that we can initiate. And I will go ahead and do um, enter in 172.16.1.11, which is a IP of a server that's located in the virtual branch network. And this this particular IP will is forced, forcing the solution, the, the session, to go across the SD-WAN solution. So we also want to bump up the time for the test um, to 1,000 seconds so that it runs for the duration of the demo. And we're going to initiate this IPERF session in TCP mode. Okay, so when that's available, click Run. Now, what we also have is, in our demo environment, access to the individual SD-WAN web interfaces. So we'll go ahead and open that in another tab. And as we navigate to the monitoring tab, statistics, and we enable the auto refresh for five seconds, we can see the, the actual WAN links that the SD-WAN is, is monitoring. And again, it goes back to the visual that we showed earlier. We have from the branch office to the data center, an internet link. We have an LTE link in standby mode. 
and we have an MPLS link. And the reverse direction is also monitored. DC internet to branch office internet, the internet at the DC down to the LTE link, and also the MPLS to MPLS. And from a data center to branch direction, we have the flow being monitored, two megabits per second roughly on the internet link and 500, meg 500 kilobits per second on the MPLS link. And from an aggregated standpoint, we see that the session is being delivered across a 2.5 to 2.3 2 to 2.5 megabit per second uh, virtualized wide area network. And this is what SD-WAN solution does. It aggregates the available WAN links um, together to provide you a virtual wide area network for application delivery. In the demo center environment, what we also give you is access to the WAN emulation tool that makes up that MPLS internet and LTE link. And as we can see from the banner here, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 make up the MPLS, 3 and 4 make up the internet, five and six make up the LTE. So if we go into advanced mode, we can select one, any one of those Ethernet and implement some loss, implement latency, implement jitter on any one of those links to affect our underlay network and showcase how SD-WAN can detect those condition changes. So in this case, what we're going to do is bring down that, MPL, uh, that internet link. So add 100% loss. And we can see from uh, the SD-WAN web interface that we immediately detect that failure. And we're going to stop using that link and make use of other more available links. So now we see the usage on that LTE completely disappear. And our iPerf session is being delivered across only the, the 500 kilobit per second link. And we see that graphically here as well. We went from 2.5 down to 500 kilobit per second. So this demonstrates the capability of the SD-WAN link aggregation. We were aggregating the WAN links and providing essentially a larger method of delivery across the wide area network in terms of bandwidth for a single session. Now, in the event that our MPLS link goes down, then we will start making use of our LTE link. So I'll go ahead and, and, uh, and perform that operation. And Ethernet 1 is associated with MPLS. And I'll head 100% loss there by that. And as we look at the SD-WAN monitoring for the past summary, we can see that the, the particular MPLS link has been put into a dead or unavailable state. And now that standby LTE link is starting to be put into effect and roughly one meg of traffic is being delivered across there. Now, in the event that the MPLS link comes back, we'll apply that. SDN will pick up that link's availability now, put it into a yellow or analysis state first before committing any traffic. But once it determines that the link is back healthy again, it will stop using the standby link and commit the traffic on the MPLS link. So we see about um, you know, 300 to 500 kilobits per second being used on that link. Now, this is essentially the, the starting point for most of our customers. They have a congested, low bandwidth MPLS link, and the applications suffer in that scenario. Higher priority applications, when they come on the network, will starve out this application and uh, result in, um, you know, zero kilobit per second throughput at times, but will will be provided 500 kilobits per second when those other sessions are not contending with for the link. Now, this results in poor user experience across the network. What SD-WAN does is gives you the ability to add additional, additional underlay networks and transports to provide an aggregated wide area network for delivery. So what we'll do is go ahead and bring back that, that capability by selecting Ethernet 3 from our WAN emulator, applying 0% loss. And as SD-WAN monitors the, the WAN link conditions, again, it analyzes the link to see if it's a viable link. And once it determines that it's a viable, healthy link, it will start committing traffic and putting it into a good, 
screen state. So what does this give us? This gives us aggregated bandwidth and allows SD-WAN to deliver on a per packet basis across the available transport, internet and NPLS in this case. So we see that traffic is being distributed across multiple links simultaneously. And what it gives you is application health. That application is not going to get starved out by other applications. You're going to have plenty of bandwidth to deliver. And again, the end user experience is dramatically improved by aggregating the bandwidth. Now, there's a lot more that goes into SD-WAN. This demonstration showcases uh, link aggregation. It shows sub-second resiliency as the network condition changes on any underlay transport for seamlessly migrating traffic across healthier links. And it also show showcases the link of last resort or standby mode uh, for, for those costly links that are billed based on usage. And it shows how SD-WAN will make use of those links in severe outage scenarios where your wired links are, are completely unavailable. Right, so with the demonstration complete, for demo center's health, you probably want to stop the iPark session, close that application, and log off properly by clicking on the start menu, the user account, and do a proper sign out of the virtual desktop so that the environment is ready for your next demonstration.